Shalom, everyone. I hope that you are doing absolutely fabulous. Thanks for joining for a general reading. If you are returning, hey guys, welcome back. I appreciate you all so very much. And I appreciate those of you who got I got to um, connect with um, and do a reading for you all. It was... Um, it was beautiful for me to meet you and to allow the spirit to just, uh, you know, flow through the reading. And uh, anyway, I just, I, I just, uh, it. There's no words. I'm glad to have met those of you who I have, and so welcome back. And those of you who all are just part of this channel, I appreciate you all so very much. Thank you for being a part of this channel. If you're new, my name is Shannon, and I'm glad to have you. And all my information is down below. How to reach me uh, in the description box for a uh, reading, and uh, they are for donation and things like that. But anyway, it's down below, and I can speak with you further uh, once I contact you. Those of you who have not heard from me yet, you will hear from me. Okay, you will. I promise you will. And some of you all still have full um, uh, mailboxes and stuff like that. So I'm not even able to, if you don't pick up, it says that the mailbox is full and I can't leave a message. And so it's just kind of, you know, I just check back periodically. But anyway, uh, if you could get those fixed, I would appreciate it. And if you are new, my channel looks at a lot of criminal activity. Most of the time I could come across religious and churchy and I'm not. But the scripture is honored here because it's found in the tarot. All of the high arcana can be found in the scripture if you did not know that. Um... I live by the, the commandments that Jehovah Elohim gave us with the writing of his finger. And people call him the universe or just spirit in general, but I call him by his scriptural name because he tells us that Jehovah is his name forever. He's got many names about him, but that's who I am connecting with. And I kiss his son, the great Hamashiach, the son of David, that he begat in the earth, which is the Christ, and I'm not ashamed of him. And so this is who I am on my channel. And so take it, leave it, do whatever you got to do with it. But if you do say welcome, uh, those of you who, got to go away. Thanks for checking me out. With that said, let's go ahead and get started. But I do want to remember to say happy birthday to you if it is a birthday. I hope it's a fantastic day and an anniversary for those of you uh, lovebirds that are, um, you know, remembering today and doing something special. Um, I just heard in my spirit, oh my gosh, it's my anniversary. <laughs> Somebody forgot, well, well, you need to get some, you know, flowers or something like that or, you know, whatever that is. Um, I just heard it really just go off my spirit. So, well, I'm glad that I said it so that I could... Um, uh, help you remember so you don't get in trouble. <laughs> anyway, let's go ahead and get started on the reading. All right. Thank you, Jehovah, for clear to find messages. Jehovah, rebuke, bind, and block every wicked, foul, dark energy and shove it down to the pit of hell where it belongs. I just thank you for this day and uh, for the viewer. Jehovah, just guide our path today and whatever we need to know. What is the overall energy that you would like to speak about today, Jehovah? So we have the target coming out here, which is the T-Waz or hitting the target. It's the letter T. It looks like a dart or, you know, something like that. Or um, this is about a victory and clarity of something when this comes out. And there's been some type of evil and revenge and, you know, malice when this comes out. And it says to beware of that, but it's evil conquered when it comes out. And this is, you know, power and drive and hitting that target. So uh, the letter T could be prevalent for some people and for some people not, um, whatever that is. Maybe you like to play darts or something like that. Maybe something happened while you were playing darts and caused some type of a, you know, situation to go on i mean in envy and malice and revenge are real heavy energy for you hope to bring out that he wants to uh, speak about so let's just see what's going on and, if, and obviously it's a victory so if you get victory over that then that's great Yo, what do you want to bring out about this? If nothing else, that's a great reminder to just hit the target in all truth and uh, avoid being a person of revenge or malice because that's nasty behavior in our earth, man. Okay, so we have the truth coming out. We do have the truth here. All right, and then I'm going to take the bottom one here. We have... Um, the whole truth, nothing but the truth and clarity of something. We have marital situations going on and the chariot is coming out here. And we also have um, communication. This is a victory. Again, this goes back to a victory over some things. 
Um, we have the letter T, the letter H would be here. This is the hay in the Hebrew. This is a big time download of something in the Hebrew. Uh, represents beholding a great sight. This is morals and ethics, marriages, spiritual mentors, teachers, uh, society would be here. Okay, so some type of a truth about a marital situation or a spiritual situation or morals or ethics or some type of truth is here today. Um, this traveling forward, getting my, my balance, getting the victory, self-control is also here with the chariot. We could have legal matters with the chariot as well. Traveling, a vehicle is here. And, uh, you know, this is a little spy. So somebody's spying out where somebody's traveling because of marital situations to find out the truth. That energy is here because we've got malice and greed and people needing to pull down their mind to get out of something. Some people are dealing with third party situations. I send you love and not light. If somebody hired a private investigator or something like that, that's a private investigator card. We also have children and teenagers here. Um, with that so we have some type of communication going on some type of a you know testimony of something to cause some type of a victory to happen and that's great for you all there's car keys showing up We're seeing keys here and a car is here and something about car keys are here Somebody figured out some type of truth with clarity about somebody's car keys today. Whatever and why that's hitting my spirit. I don't know who that's for, but it's here. You know, if you're leaving your kids in the car, we got little kids out here with the pages and things like that. And some, something about that's running through my spirit, whatever that is. Just make sure you got your keys with you. Um, show me what's hidden that's coming to the surface. You'll hold that you want to bring out here for this reading. Thank you. Thievery. Okay, well, we got car keys out here and somebody watching somebody's vehicle. Okay, then something's out here. Um, that's just here. It ain't going to be for everybody, but it is here. The energy is here. Can't take away from the energy being here. There's some type of uh, the, the thief guard is here. Okay, well, um, lying, cheating, you know, guilty type of energy with the thief card coming out. Somebody guilty. Somebody also got a pregnancy here as well. Um, something's constantly been going on and on. Somebody's constantly, you know, having to pull their mind down, constantly watching somebody. Uh, and there's morals and ethics at play, especially with the thief here. Then that's here. This is a positive light to something because we do have a victory. It's what the constancy card represents. Okay, it's coming to the surface about clarity about this thief. And uh, there is a sweetheart here. Okay, so we have marital situations. This is somebody special to somebody. And then if you are dealing with legal matters in, in jail and, and things like that, we have the prison card here. Well, we have a private investigator out here that's coming to the surface that's hidden, okay, for prison's sake on somebody because there has been revenge and uh, intrigues and plotting and and there's there's clear again this represents clarity with all clarity it's here that's why somebody getting a victory today congratulations and there's a favorable testimony to something what else you want to bring out here Yehova? we have the gentleman coming out this is a specific person that is um involved in something this could be a, this could represent anything from a younger person to somebody's husband somebody's um um that's real masculine could be here this could be somebody's partner so if you are dealing with you know private investigators and in law and things like that or you know prison situation there's been thief around something something's been constantly going on uh, somebody special to somebody this is, could be somebody special to somebody or somebody's looking at you that way and there's been some type of a war here to have to get a victory this is also the letter zion the letter h is also here the h the excuse me the z the h and the t um this is um, it, somebody's crop that's been cut and, uh, you know, something that has affected a large scope of an area would be here in the Hebrew. And this is society, so something really big would be on uh, some situation here for 
some something or you're dealing with your children or little little children involvement within some stuff then that is here and somebody's morals and ethics would be here but this is in the upright and this person would be in the upright if not then this person's significant uh to something that's went on um in your in your world this could be just somebody's friend this is a professional and this is also about using your logic here with this gentleman the letter a is here as well um, we have the moon, so the mother and children. There's romance and stuff. So we got a sweetheart here, and there's been a war over romantic things and things that went down. It's just been energetically just stolen from you, or something really did went down in a very big way where there's something that's gotten physically stolen. Then something about the moon is here. The moon can take us back to your intuition, um, cycles of things. Obviously, has been going on and on. This is um, can be like a revelation as well. And both of those energies can go back. Like I was saying with the letter hey here, because this is your intuition. Some people have been dealing with their emotions and fear around that kind of stuff. And, um, you know, this, this just happened into your intuition. Um, but we definitely have family stuff that would be out here with the moon since the moon rules over um, the house of uh, the home area. Children are out here as well. And yeah, children is here. Something about children's world big. We have two pages showing itself in this room. So if something's happened. There's clarity around some type of a situation. Then that's here. This also possibly could be somebody that you went to school with. This is somebody um, that has a childlike brain. If that's what the child card represents for you. It could also represent stumbling up on some information. And so somebody's watching somebody and communicating within communication. Stumbled up on some communication. And there's truth around something that's been constantly going on. Then there's something here. And for some people, it's 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 been malice and greed and stupidness. And possibly death has been around the ordeal. Okay. And so this is an ending. There's something ending here. Let me pull some words here from my homemade deck. Jehovah, you, you just pull through my hands. I just thank you for this message that we're getting a victory today over some stupid nasty malice and plotting stuff and just help the children here today Yehovah. all right uh, the person who took the bribe or the payoff for the bribe shall reap exactly what they were paid off to do. So if we got a private investigator, the person who gave um, you know to watch somebody to, to do something because we have death here. To kill somebody, maybe around some love situation. The locket is here. We got a sweetheart here. You know, we've got the chariot can take us back to a husband or a mother. We obviously have the moon that takes us back and can represent a mother energy in marital situations or whatever the reason why somebody's lied, cheated, stole something here. Um, somebody did a bribe. Okay, and you'll have saying the person who gave the bribe and the person who took the bribe is going to admit, be met the exact same way of whatever. Uh, was paid off to do the death or whatever that has been okay so you know if, if somebody's going to give you a bribe man um that will curse you and you're also cursing the person who's doing it there's manure out here okay well there's the word for manure is dmn a demon that's demonic stupidness people uh that people don't have no morals and ethics remember yesterday i did a reading and the devil was there really big it was a freakish nasty reading well malice and greed and envy and strife and all that stupidness that's demonic okay so the word for manure is dmn demon and it's filth, it's dung, it's also livestock out here. Um, you know, obviously, I'm, I connect with somebody who lives on a farm. I don't know why, but it is. There's a witnessing and a testifying and a record being charged. Well, we get, we see somebody, we got a prison here, okay? And the eighth house goes back to FBI energy. So if something's already went down, now somebody's been investigating that ordeal because they've stumbled across some type of... Um, information about that then that's what's showing somebody's guilty here and there's a victory within it okay somebody can be charged and there's a witnessing to it um somebody stole somebody's work called it their own hey look what i did but it wasn't they were a lying stupidness and they thought they sat on their freaking throne and they're a liar and they're a cheater they did some stupidness they even killed for it and Jehovah says there will be justice for this he's been bringing this up for quite a while and this stuff happens all day long every day uh it's known that they stole work and um there will be justice for it somebody says no matter what i want to care for you and that's positive well we have a sweetheart we have somebody special out here somebody got mixed up in some stuff then i 
I guess they did. If there's a if there's a love interest around a marriage, um, and you're it's safe for you to love, but you got somebody that's out here that's kook or the baby mama wars going on. That energy then is here. Somebody's gonna be so happy. Yes, because there's a victory here today. Um, these six things the Lord hates. Yea, seven are an abomination unto him. A proud look, a lying tongue. We have the liar right here. Hands that be swift. Um, to run, oh, hold on, I got to get my glasses because the words are running and I think I um, read two lines together and, and some of the words off one line, uh, it ran into each, each other. A lying tongue, hands that shed innocent blood. We got children out here, people. The eighth house take you back to the occult, man. That's disgust in the eyes of Jehovah. Jehovah came that we might have life and live, not die. We got people seeking to just kill because they're freaks. They lost their mind. So hands that shed innocent blood. He hates that. And a heart that devises wicked imaginations. Feet that be swift in running to do mischief. And a false witness. We have a witness out here. And we've had recently come out on the channel somebody getting up and falsely witness against somebody. And because of whatever why they did it, whatever reason why they did it. A false witness that speaks lies in him that sows discord around, among brethren. We have, you know, a spiritual leader here. And so somebody in somebody's congregation spread some type of discord among, among, among brethren. Caused some type of malice and plotting and thievery and stupidness came out of that ordeal then i guess so and Jehovah says i hate that stuff man um we have a standard of measure here yes we have you know this goes back to your morals and your ethics somebody's morals and ethics are off because they they have paid somebody off for a bribe and the, the scripture says that uh, an evil person will um give a bribe and pull it out of the bosom to to mislead the way and that's what's exactly is taking place and then that it it comes with the curse, the scripture says. There's some type of bowing the knee or respect or kindness or some, something about being an equal. Well, if you people have, um, you know, the, we have a white child and a black gentleman here. And if you are prejudiced, you just might want to go ahead and just click off my channel because I will punch your face out with the truth. Uh, love has no color, okay? If there's racial situations going on here, then get off my channel because I'm not racist at all. Um, but we do have... Um, something out here around that type of energy and so some people think well no i don't have to respect you because well your skin color and my skin color you're a freak and you're nasty and your stupidness and nasty has come out of that ordeal for those of you all who are dealing with that kind of stuff it, it is unethical to behave that way in the earth man so we do have something about um harvesting again this is a crop cutter in the hebrew i don't know why i pick up that energy all the time but there's something about something has been harvested or something about being on on a farm because we have livestock that's out here as well um the livestock rune will take us back to fraud issues we got a lot of money that would be found this is bank systems and this will take you back to fortune this is secret money with the eighth house coming out here so we also have the letter a and the letter j coming out here as well people this is what come out for this reading remember if you would like a um reading it's all down in the description box i would love to speak with you and uh to be able to help you unlock things in your own life and let the great ones speak. I hope you all have a fantastic day. Until next time, shalom.